Hello, you already know what this what this is. This is the All Star 313 wheelbase crawler, and I don't know whether you can see, but this is a new set of tyres in which I recently just bought about tenner. So I'm going to do a series on them, uh, you know, cheap tyres, see how they run. But these see, these seem to be pretty good. They've got nice lugs as you, as you can see, and they're pretty soft. You know what I mean? They're still using the same bead locks to give them a fair chance of what they are. You know what I mean? And obviously, you know the rest. So, I'm going to turn this on. As you can hear that. Yeah, now it's on, and, and we're going to get this on the go. Just heard thunder, so I hope it don't rain. So, because it's not a very good day today. But either way, we get this on the move, and we'll just enjoy. I hope you'll enjoy, so I'm going to, either way. As you can see, it's a completely different place today. Tries to look a bit small. Don't matter. Yeah, I've um, uh, I've managed to sort out that um, gluing. I, I'd use a stronger glue. To make sure the body stays on. And also used, I think you um, uh, seen in the last videos that um, uh, I was using the big 20 by 10 like rectangle um, uh, magnets instead of the you know the 10 millimeter circular um, uh, circular magnets. <coughs> We've got all this to play around on. So if you can see that. I'm not going to go in any of this mud because last time I went in there with my Maverick I got stuck. When I mean I got stuck, I literally got stuck myself because I had to go in and get it. Some of it's hard enough to muck around in but where there's water there's going to be trouble so I'd rather not go in there I hope this is on right, you know what I mean? Because I'd like you to obviously see and watch, be able to see this. Yeah, I'm using the free cell again. So, um, uh, you know what I mean? Because I like using the free cell, it's a good battery, gives it power, gives the car power, enough power that I can use. I just want to try out some tyres, some different tyres, different sizes, and I've got some bead locks, some new bead locks at home, in which I'm, uh, I will start trying out once I've tried out. I've got another three sets of tyres to try out. And that's some uh, the Hyrax clones. Um, uh, the original ones that I had on these, which the Hyrax clones were the original, but you know, I'm talking about what I was using, you know, for a while. With the, um, uh, you know, the bi-directional um, tread pattern and and um, uh, and I've got another big bigger set of tyres very similar to these
Yeah, I'll keep forgetting them. Uh, I, I got this on brake and reverse, in which I don't need the brake. So um, uh, I've got just got to change that setting on on the ESE, and I think it's on this handset. I might get some um, uh, internal spring shocks for this. And sometimes it just takes power. I might have to, um, uh, it's starting to rain heavily and I haven't got my GoPro in its case so if it starts raining a bit heavier I'm going to have to put it in its, um, uh, in its case so when I do please excuse my um, uh, abrupt um, uh, you know turning off off the camera and moving and, and obviously putting it into the to the um, uh, GoPro case. You see, it's well front heavy. The back's bouncing, but um, uh, hopefully. So I've got some um, uh, some like you know steel bead locks in which I'm uh in which I've weighted so <coughs> hopefully that will keep the back wheels down a bit better and eventually as I said before I might build a um uh, uh a uh, bed for it so Full pelt. And the body's holding on well. So that's good. Yeah, well, as I said, might need to put this um, uh, camera in its case. So I don't know whether you can see it on the camera, but the rain's really coming down. Trying to blow up my um uh, my camera. See what's going on here. Yeah. All right, go on and Too loose. I might have to sort this camera out. So, we'll leave it here for now, and I'll be back. <coughs>